Hi, this is Sario. I am a pastry chef and a painter, and this is my studio. When I was younger, so my mom tried to get me into a lot of things. I'm a master for painting, and that's, I think that's when I really got into it. I realized that this is something that I really enjoyed doing. At that point, I didn't think I'd be an artist, but as I was growing up and you know, in my teens, and I really thought I would love to just be a painter for life. I've been working since I was 17. They're all like, I used to teach, or I used to work in a magazine under the editor, or I worked in advertising. So just shop me like, I just didn't have time to paint. When I got back into it, often actually I was having a really bad day at work. I was just really stressed out. Just to de-stress, I started painting again. And that's when I just realized that, wow, I'd forgotten how much I enjoy it. You know, it's really interesting. Like if we go to galleries or if we go to like museums, you know, people don't really talk, they don't really interact. But then I've been to a lot of underground places as well, underground shows, which are not conventional and they're very interesting. and. Yeah, everyone's talking, there's a lot of music, there's just a different kind of energy and I thought, you know, that's what I want to do at some point. I mean, I'd love that. It's like a party, it's not an exhibit. But I always thought that people didn't really have a very good sense of humor here. Like, it was difficult for them to take a joke, so every painting I would do, there'll be a little hidden joke in all of them. I didn't want to paint under my name. Came up with the name Pretty Shitty Art. I thought it'd be really funny. Not that I didn't, I thought of it then. My first ex solo exhibit, like a TV channel covered it, so it was really fun hearing that on TV. <laughs> <laughs> in the papers and on the radio so it was started off as a joke but then I really got into it and I was like all right I've had what three solos so far I've had a couple of joint exhibits I am part of the milkshake collective with a bunch of really good friends working towards my fourth solo now but what really inspires me would be definitely like socio-political developments animals and human nature. I think for people who are considering into going into baking or being a chef professionally, this is a really pretty nice way of going about it. If you already have a client base build, uh, if you've attended different fairs and uh, festivals and people know a bit about you. So having your own private studio where you can meet and meet clients as well as it's a pickup point for you and hold classes, uh, it's a good way to go about it. So advice for people who want to pursue art or painting as a career, I think my advice is practice. But for people who are thinking of starting or are interested in baking, uh, it's good to maybe take classes, take online classes, look up books, uh, see how other chefs have done it or other bakers have done it. Thanks to Decopedia for coming in for a studio visit and checking out my cake studio as well as my paint studio. If you would like to see or check out either one of them, you can find me under Pretty Shitty Art if you want to see my paintings or you can find me as the florist if you want to see my cake work. Thanks!